years in office. It's a quiz. I'll give everybody a quiz. <laughs> During his 12 years in office, more money was put into roads in Fairfax County by A, the federal government, B, the state government, C, the local government, or D, private industry. Anybody know the answer to that? D. I mean, private industry. Anybody else? It's D, private industry. But the most remarkable thing, <coughs> not just D, but it's D was more than the other three combined. More than the other three combined. And if you think about it, we did Route 28 through a special tax district. We did the roads, uh, the roads, uh, mobile oil uh, was one of his big successes. We attracted mobile oil, our first Fortune 500, uh, Fortune 500 company into the county. That overpass over Gallows Road, we attracted him to the county, but we made him pay $50 million to build that overpass. People forget that. Fair Lakes, the development, we gave them a big increase in density at Fair Lakes. They had to build the first leg of the parkway, the interchange at 66, the interchange at 50. These are all things that, uh, and I could go on and on about the roads and the overpasses and the, you know, the roads around uh, Fairview Park, uh, the roads in Tyson's. A lot of what we did uh, in terms of road building during his 12 years was, was privately funded, and it was funded, uh, it was the thing that drove our economic development were the roads. Uh, we've forgotten that over the last uh, X number of years. We don't see the developer contributions. And Fairfax County's changed a little bit, so you don't have those big opportunities to develop. We do have it in Tyson's, and that's a lesson I'm taking from my dad that I hope we're going to use in Tyson's form. Uh, what else was I going to talk about? Uh, probably the funniest thing that I, then I'll go to questions, but the, the funniest guy used to tell stories. I was going to tell some of Jay Lambert's. Uh, Jay Lambert and I and a couple other folks had the opportunity to roast my dad. Uh, at a chamber function back in probably the late 80s, early 90s. But uh, Jay Lambert probably had some of the best stories about my dad. And, you know, they at a critical time in the negotiations over sewage with the district, he, you know, just blurred out, well, you guys couldn't manage a two-car funeral. Um, mm -hmm. I'm talking to Prince William County about building another bridge across the uh, Occoquan down, uh, down by Bull Run Park. And, uh, what was that? Well, that one was. Uh, I don't care if you uh, you you build the. Uh, what was it? I don't care if you build the road to the river, and swim the cars across. We're not building a damn bridge. <laughs> um, and it was another one where they were, they were talking. Oh, I think it was Manassas. We were we were widening a road to four lanes, and they insisted on keeping theirs two lanes. And he basically just said we're just going to take our four lanes and shove them up your two lanes. <laughs> but that was that was uh, that was my dad. I mean, it was. Uh, and I'll and I'll close with my comments on a couple of things that um, you know that I, I I find the one thing probably in talking about my dad that I was most proud of is that you didn't always agree with him, but you always knew where he stood. We don't get that out of politicians today. I think he's probably, I don't think he'd survive today as a politician, um, which is a shame. But that says something about our society. You know, I hope when I leave office that, that people will be able to say that about me. But, uh, but that's tough to do in these days. He was, he was, you knew where he stood. You were either against it or for it. But he wasn't a guy that, that minced words. He always said what he spoke. And I mean, spoke what he, he felt. And uh, that doesn't that doesn't go very far these days, unfortunately. And we're watching all the spin and stuff with the presidential elections. But uh, anyway, with that, um, I will take questions. If people have questions, and if not, I'll flip into the book and see if you guys want to talk about anything else. Anybody have questions? Anybody have stories you want to share? I know you've got some good stories about my dad. Yeah, sure. <laughs>